Hello and welcome to Body Bags. My name is James and I'm your Sunday night reviewer. And this evening I am the last in line for the um, for our Christmas theme week, which was uh, Blood and Snow. Um, hope you've all had a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate, you've all had a happy holidays. And the film that I went to go with this evening was um, the David Slade movie. 30 days of night. Um, I remember when I first picked this up a long time ago now, when it first came out actually. Uh, I don't think there was Blu-ray in the store. Uh, I just grabbed this and I didn't really know much about it and I was uh, very pleasantly surprised. Yeah, uh, I wasn't too sure with being Josh Hartnett but I really did enjoy this. Um, so, as I mentioned, uh, we have David Slade directing. So, he did this before he did Hard Candy. A little bit strange that he stayed in the kind of vampire genre and went into a Twilight film, or a couple of Twilight films or something like that. And then turned himself back around again a bit and did a few um, uh, Black Mirror episodes. He, I think he did the Bandersnatch one. It was kind of a choose your own adventure. But anyway, 30 days of night. So this is set in Alaska. <clears throat> now, where I live, somewhere we have, um, uh, how shall I put it? Um, not radical weather. Well, my, where my summer is, it's pretty much daytime, the whole time in the summer. And nighttime, it's not solid black, but there's not really too much daylight and there's only a few hours worth, like four or five hours at its peak worst. But there's a little gripe with this that I, it's kind of like, um, it's not quite realistic how this is done. It's um, some of the weather, but I, I guess it had to be how it is for the film to make it kind of dramatic and realistic. Uh, yeah, it's like the one day, the day before there's no, there's no uh, sunlight, there's no daytime. It's really bright daytime and it just wouldn't be like that. It just wouldn't have to be bright daytime to dark. But anyway, that's a small st sticking point I have with it. But we are in this small little kind of very small like village in uh, Alaska. It's like an oil refinery village where I think most of the people are connected to that. And we follow Josh Hartnett. Who's there? Uh, Melissa George is. Uh, she's working with the fire department, fire marshal, or something like that. So yeah, he's a policeman, and his separated wife, but they're still together technically. She's doing some last-minute checks in the village. Um, yeah, so she she's there anyway, and he's there with his family. But it starts off. We fo follow a. This really weird character walking from a boat and he's making his way across the snow. Uh, awesome looking setting, this. Uh, it's just so cool. Very, all, all the kind of the chrome with the white and black and white, uh, how everything is. It's not filmed in black and white, but it just naturally comes out like that, being all the snow and everything and darkness. Um, yeah, so we have Ben Foster and he's kind of like, um, oh, what's the term? He's like a vampire kind of sort of thing. One of the ones where they um, they feed on them, but they don't turn them. But um, he's like a lackey for vampires, basically. So he goes into the village to destroy all the mobile phones, uh, kills loads of dogs and bits and pieces like that. I will be spoiling this, by the way. And um, yeah, causing like mischief, cutting power off, cutting connection to the outside world, basically ready for when the vampires, which there are lots on this boat, come out. And this is like a fight for survival. So yeah, there's like a, I think 150 odd people left. Um, I think three quarters of the population of the town have gone and flown out and different things. But so everyone that's left to like kind of man the, the, the village, uh, the settlement for like the one month and it's total darkness, they're totally cut off. 
and so yeah this is like like i said a fight for survival of trying to last this one month and it's it's done really really well i like how you get these little pockets of kind of resistance and people hiding out in their homes and different things uh, it's kind of carnage to start with it there's little bits going on and little snippets of their they're kind of infiltrating they're not making their presence felt until they're kind of until they're ready basically and then it's a bit of a all-out carnage loads of people being killed off and like I said we have these snippets of resistance and they're like hiding around and stuff like that Alexa's just decided to switch itself on don't know what I said there but anyway it's um yeah it's really interesting you get some nice kind of interesting characters yeah yeah um, there's like the recluse character who wants to be like friends with no one but then turns into a bit of a hero and sacrifices his life <laughs> uh, Josh Hartnett's your typical hero uh, looking after everyone uh, selflessness um, it's quite an interesting dynamic with his um, partner he thought he was long dead and then later on he finds him in the film he's actually hiding in his house and he goes to him and he's actually he couldn't bear the thought of what was going on happening to his family so he actually kills his children and his wife and you don't see that but you see the aftermath they're just covered in the bed sheet like in the bed that's pretty hard hitting there there's some there's some few bits like that like there's another guy that gets um he gets bitten by a vampire and uh he's kind of he he's been working there for a while but he's there his family aren't there but you you find out he explains that he's once he's been bitten that he's just never told anyone that his family are actually killed and um he's basically begging that he doesn't want to be immortal he can't be immortal he wants to die to be with them in heaven so yeah he he gets he gets killed and um yeah there, there's some really interesting cool shots like there's some awesome shots from above and it's kind of tracking along and you see all this carnage going off these shotgun fires all this blood across the, the snow the vampires attacking people and it's it's pretty good there's a few bits of cgi that sneak in and it's like it's 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 what it is like kind of stuff that didn't really need to be there like shotgun blasts going off and blowing their heads up of um um the, the some of the vampires and what one of the last ones i think it's danny houston um i'd say strange but actually very good casting he's really good um yeah the sounds that they create david slade it kind of he didn't want fake noises like um added on noises so they did this really strange stretching of the vocal cords sort of thing like a breathing in scream sort of thing and it's really effective it's really creepy but um, yeah danny houston yeah he's uh i think it's danny houston he's uh yeah there it is he's he's really cool with this he's like the head vampire and stuff like that and as i said the spoilers with what i'm saying his demise at the end is it doesn't look that good it's i don't think it looked good when i watched it when this came out like when was this 10 years ago 11 12 years ago but it really doesn't look up but good now how, how that happened but this, this is a very fun film it's very atmospheric uh lots of good kills if you like vampires and atmosphere and vampires should always be in the dark this film is very dark not not one of those films where you can't see what's happening it's it, it's actually filmed really well uh, location shots are good and then when it's on sets and uh, I think that they've kind of balanced it quite well it doesn't stand out or like, well you're watching it on a set or anything like that it's nicely done and it's a really enjoyable film Josh Hartnett he was um, I'm quite surprised he fit fit the, the, the role quite well I actually like Melissa George anyway I think she's quite quite good and uh, everyone is kind of cast pretty well in, in this that everyone fits their role as they're meant to so yeah, like vampires, good vampires, like the dark, lots of dark, like lots of blood, lots of blood. Um, yeah, 
I'm not going to just strip the film down. I think I've talked for long enough. Just talking about a few pockets of, of uh, info on this. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, right, we're very close to the end of the new year. So I hope you all guys enjoy your celebrations, whatever you're all doing. Uh, be safe. And I will catch you all next Sunday. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.